Okay, here we've got a question on the surface area of two shapes. Um, AA star question, the complex shapes of cone and a hemisphere, um, level 9 plus on national curriculum. Now, at the moment, we're allowed to use formulas. We're given this exam paper, you were given these two formulas at the start. So you can use them to solve this question. Um, we've got a diagram that shows a cone and a solid, solid hemisphere. A cone has a base. Well, it's just telling you what's on the diagram. Find an expression. Oh, the surface area of the cone is equal to the surface area of the hemisphere. Find an expression of h in terms of x. Now, the curved surface area of the cone is this formula here, pi r l. So we've got the cone. It's pi times r times l, where l is this long side. So we're going to have to work that out in a minute, where r is x. So we've got pi x l. Now, we should include the base of this cone which is pi r squared, um, but because the base of this hemisphere is exactly the same, pi r squared, we can pretty much ignore that. We're just going to compare the surface areas. So the cone um, surface area is going to equal the hemisphere. Okay, and the hemisphere we have, um, surface area of a sphere is 4, 4 pi r squared. So a hemisphere is just going to be half of that, while the curved surface area is going to be half of that. So that's going to be 2 pi r squared, where r is x. So that's 2 pi x squared. So we have these two things. And we're trying to work out an expression for h in terms of x. Now h, um, if we have l here, this is a right angle triangle. So a bit of Pythagoras tells us that um, l, squ l squared l squared equals h squared plus x squared. So the l that we've got in here is equal to the square root of h squared plus x squared. So we can replace that in here with pi times x times the square root of h squared plus x squared. And that's equal to 2 pi x squared. Now we're going to do a bit of cancelling. We can divide by pi on both sides. We can divide by one of the x's here and this x here. So we end up with h squared plus x squared equals 2x. And we want to just have h on its own. So we need to get rid of this square root. So we're going to square both sides. If we square this side, we get the h squared plus x squared. Square on this side, square the 2, we get 4. Square the x, we get x squared. Um, take away the x squared from this side and take it from this side we end up with 3x squared and then we need to do the square root to get h so we've got h equals the square root of 3x squared. I suppose we could simplify that with root 3 times x something like that. Um, it's a little bit messy so um, probably best just to leave it as the square root of 3x squared. 